Hello everyone, and welcome to Teleforum, a found footage style horror game in which we actually play as a reporter crew, that is the reporter themselves and the cameraman, tasked with interviewing the widow of a journalist who died on air. Well, it almost feels like that feeling you get when you wake up at 3 in the morning as a kid and all the infomercials are on, you know? It just has this otherworldly vibe where you feel like you're... You feel like you're looking into a world that isn't your own, you know? Something more unfriendly and hostile. You won't know until we press play, but... I believe this game does actually have multiple endings. And it's gonna be up to us how we conduct this interview. And so we're gonna need to play our cards right in order to get the answers that we're looking for. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got that camera on? Uh, let me remove the lens cover. There we go. Oh, what, the cameraman doesn't get a name? Right. It's best to have as much material as possible. Yeah, that is definitely true. I've noticed that in my Urbex videos. You want to have it recording even when you don't expect something to happen. We want the sixth floor. Can you get the button? Ah, so in this mode, we have sort of a point-and-click style. It's not just going to be dialogue options. All right, sixth floor. What is it? You look like you have something to say. Don't you think it's wrong to bother a widow? If we don't do this, someone else will. You know Augusto back at the station? He's itching to make a special show about this. Trust me, new guy. I didn't get here waiting for them to give me the jobs. It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? They just told me how it happened. What he used to... You know. You're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it, right? He gave Kelso a VHS tape. The VT operator? Right. Kelso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical issues. Then, bam. It happened. Oh, we're here. Come on. Mm. Oh, this is so creepy already. Okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. Ah, oh, this game is really, really good looking. Like, it's got those sharp graphics, but combines them very well with that sort of, like, 80s VHS overlay look. Uh, and not to mention, I really love this premise of coming in and just being told about something disturbing that happened. It's almost got that lost media sort of appeal where... It's just the idea of something happening in the past, and we need to piece together what it was that led up to it. In fact, in this moment, we're not even sure what that thing even was to begin with. I just hope that doesn't impede the interview itself. I mean, I'd hate to start asking questions where we're supposed to know what happened and we don't. Uh, Alright, so 604 over there. I can't see what it says over there. Uh... Let's head towards the trash bags, I guess, since that's less obvious. Uh, there we go. I think it's that apartment just ahead. Here we are. Well, let's get ready, shall we? You can film her getting the door and all that. Uh, imagine how you'd feel. Your husband just died. And then you open the door, and suddenly there's a camera crew in your face. I'm guessing we didn't call her beforehand. So, should I knock on the door? Ring the bell? What'll look better on video? Uh, oh, you're really calling on me to, uh, to direct this thing? Ring the bell, it feels less hostile.
I wonder if she's up to talking to strangers right now, or I hope the camera doesn't act up during the interview. Why, has this thing been having problems? If she isn't, she will be now. Let me try again. Say, did you work with Walter for long? Did she know the individual in question? Some. Four years. That's enough time to get to know someone. Um, this hit me hard too, you know? I want to do something for him. You call this doing something for him? And take advantage of the situation in the process? Sure. He'd say I'm demonstrating a sharp sense for opportunity. Uh, so he had a similar spirit, huh? Alright. Third time's the charm. Ugh. What do you want? Adriana. Hi, Mrs. Martins? We're from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences, and yet the camera's already rolling behind you. Do you really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. An homage. A kind of retrospective, you see? He worked at the station for so long. So we wanted to talk to you about him. About what happened. Right. Fine. Come in. It might be good to talk about it. Homage? Why not? We can edit it later. Edit it to make it into an homage, or edit it so there's no record of us saying that? Right now, we need the raw material. Come on. Before she changes her mind... Thank you again for welcoming us, Mrs. Martins. Oh, look at her standing in the doorway in the shadow like that. Mm hmm. Silva here will film our conversation, okay? Oh, so I do have a name. Will he now? I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea? Coffee? Oh, I never refuse a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's snoop around while we have the chance. Oh, what are we doing? Make sure to get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. Uh, oh, we can look around to an extent. Let's have a look at some of these degrees. Look at these certificates. Journalism degree from UFRGS. Specialization in communication. Walter was well-educated. I think Mrs. Martin's is just the same. What a waste. Uh, it would be a shame if we only had shots of the same wall. So look around the whole room here, okay? Uh, and we can use A and D to look around. Uh, hmm. Is it going to rain today? Hardly. The rooster says otherwise. Look. Ah, uh, these roosters never get it right. Hmm. Guess we can use this to set the mood. Uh, what about the books on your shelf? You knew Walter better than I. He read a lot? He read most of the newspapers every day. I guess these books belong to Mrs. Martin's. Look at this photo. Some scenery? Not a very appealing scenery. Plus, it's out of focus. This photo has a story behind it. I can feel it. I might ask about it during the interview. Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all you can now. Okay, what is this up here? Look, a daily trophy. 
Oh, right. Walter got one for an article he wrote back in the 70s. The station's owner thought this would make us stand out more. But it didn't happen. Local stations have zero chances against the big ones. I think they even had a lobby going on to hush this up. Hmm. I imagine she'll probably be back in a moment, right? Uh, no, we can still keep looking. Uh, we can't look at what's up there. We can have a look at another picture, but that's uh, a little redundant. Hmm, I'm a little curious in what she's... What is that on the ground there? Oh, it's a dog. Hello, dog. Huh. Good one. We need a nice shot of gunpowder. Aw, gunpowder. Walter even carried the dog's picture in his wallet. He showed it around as if it were a photo of his son, so he was really proud of this dog. Uh, anything else? Wait. Uh, I wanted to see if the uh, plants in the vase were wilting. Is there something over here in the shadows? Look at this headline. Oh, is it a newspaper? The tragic passing of Walter Martins. So it's made the news already. So, wait, so this just happened? I'm surprised she actually kept the paper. Or we could say she won't have peace for a while. That seems a little bit more meaningful. No. No, she won't. And we're part of the reason why. You realize that, right? Uh, I can still look around. I'm interested in what's on the TV. Or, ooh, wait, we can check the uh, deck down below. Whoa, VCR. Fancy. So I'm guessing that this would be like late 80s, early 90s? How much is one of these going for now? Some 2 million cruzeros? More than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay for this. He told me this one time he gave me a ride. Coffee's almost done. Will you have one? Yes, thank you. It'd be rude not to, but I'm wondering if I can trust you in this instance. You know, the way you loom ominously in the doorway? Be my guest. So, did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great. We'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Silva. Ready? Oh, look at you. I'm a little unnerved by the fact that we haven't gotten a good look at your face. I mean, I'm surprised they don't have fill light on, like, mounted on the camera. No. I'm not ready, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's go. In three, two, one. We're here with Mrs. Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. Uh, oh, and we can... We can choose what we want to ask about. Oh, this is... We're making hard choices here. Let's ask about the award in the living room. I guess it'll be good to start off on the right mood by asking about who he was. Walter was a very high caliber professional working at a small station. Would you like to comment on that? He felt he had less problems with higher ups when working at a smaller station. Uh, doesn't like the red tape and obstructions. He could suggest topics, be more hands on. He also believed in keeping local stations alive. We lived well. He wasn't an ambitious man. Not in that sense. He was a good man. Hmm. There are many books in this house. Walter read many newspapers too, didn't he? It was a habit of his. He had to be well prepared for his show. 
He liked to be up to speed with current events. And he complained about the younger journalists. Said they weren't thorough. Are you throwing shade? Yeah, I know that quite well. Uh... I don't want to ask about the paper headlines. That's a deep cut and it's way too early. Uh... What about the, uh... What's the deal with the expensive VCR? No? Ah, this is... This is tearing me up. It seems like it's not just one and done, but sooner or later. Like, we're definitely not going to get to ask everything. Let's ask about the certificates and degrees. Still keep it, uh, still keep it about the man for now. You two are quite well educated, aren't you? You can say so. I studied quite a bit. History, theater... Theater? I met Walter at an eloquence workshop. I used to help him out. Can you believe he had a speech impediment? Bad diction. Nobody notices it today. His articulated speech. That was my gift. Sounds like you two were perfect for each other. And what about gunpowder? What's been getting you through these difficult times? Gunpowder here helped me more than anything else. The dog. Of course. He's been quite sad. Oh, Gunpowder. He knows something's amiss. He misses Walter. At least taking care of him is taking my mind off things. Look, I'm sorry, I don't think I can keep going. Oh no, we didn't get to ask about the photo. Of course, Mrs. Martins. We have enough material already. He was so different. So nervous. I never expected him to... No one expected that, Mrs. Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Gun? Wait, does she... Does she not know how it happened? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The... The gun. The, the one he used during the show's broadcast. He did not use a gun. I, I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's what Ferreira told you back at the station, right? Uh, wait. No, 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 no. I can't... I can't possibly answer this. I don't... I don't know. How can... How can I answer this when I don't know? No. I was... I guess we'll just pick one. I was told he hanged himself. That doesn't really make sense. On air? Took poison or a knife makes more sense. I was told he used a knife. What? How can that be? My god. I knew it. Ever since he got that tape. The tape he tried to broadcast? Kelso examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned. Something like that. So they destroyed the physical evidence. That wasn't the tape. Not the original one. That was a copy. So, you didn't know he planned to do this, but you did know about some kind of tape. Seriously? Do you still have the original one? Yes. Here. I don't know what he saw in this thing, and I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home. Or in the small hours of the morning. So he acquired this thing and developed like an obsession with it, but wouldn't watch it when you were around. You want to watch it, don't you? For your show? I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I... I'm going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear this thing. Ma'am, I don't blame you. This is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. 
you'll stay, right? I mean, I was definitely raising ethical concerns here, and even more so now that you seem more excited by the prospect of learning more than you do about what you're doing to her, but... Well, I can't say... I honestly can't say my moral compass would win out here. I would have to see. Yeah. I gotta see what's going on here. I knew I made the right decision in bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You'll film me as I watch the thing. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's contents in the video during editing. Right. Let's make some room here. Alright, let's begin. I mean, personally, I would go for either watching you head on at an angle or at an angle so that we can see both you and the screen, but that's just me backseat directing. Let's get my first impressions on film. We can fix it all in editing later. There. I'll press play. It's starting. Oh god, what are we doing? Look at the way the glow from the screen flickers across the wall. What is this place? It looks like a dark room with like a red glow emanating from an open doorway. I don't recognize this building. Some kind of symbols in the background? These symbols... I... I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? Uh... Looking at them makes my head hurt me, it's the eyes. But then again, I'm from a perspective here where I can't see the whole thing. Oh, it changed. Good. So he did go inside the building. What is this place? Wait, so he's the one recording this tape. Was he doing like a... Was he doing like a story or something? Like this is something that he independently sought out? Uh, to me it looks like a school. Are those classrooms? Why do their clothes look so much like my high school uniform? Wait, you can see people? He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look, there's someone up ahead. That guy, he looks, he looks. Did you get that? I'll turn up the volume. I still can't understand what's being said, though. <laughs> Thank you for the multiple choice. I'm gonna have to really listen close. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the top one. Shard, take my hand. We'll take a walk, get to zero inside the Lost Ark. I'll buy you the sky. I mean, the last part sounds more like Oscar, honestly, but let's go with this. Shard? Who's Shard? You really heard that? Not really, but it sounds the most likely. I can't understand a thing. Let me turn up the volume one more time. Is that the face on the TV? The one we can't see? Hey, you okay? Oh 
Maybe we shouldn't have watched that thing. I get the achievement commercial break. We'll be right back after this message. Oh, uh, that was crazy. How it keeps going, and a as we progress, she's turning the volume up and up. We're trying to listen closely as we can at that unintelligible dialogue. And the whole time, the camera is slowly moving inward as if it's like honing our focus, like subconsciously. Okay, we're in the right building. Is the camera on? Wait. Wait, we've gone straight back to the beginning! Oh, whatever happened, it wasn't good, was it? Let me get the button. Six foot. Oh, oh. So that was an ending. <laughs> ending with her seemingly left in like a, like a catatonic state. At least that's the last we saw. Oh no. Just some deja vu. Right. Huh. This is weird. We're going through it again? Let's get to the 608 already. Alright, well... We can head towards the window or directly to 608. We know now. There's the apartment. Oh, this is really eerie. Finally. I'll do the talking. Good evening. We're from Channel 8. We came to talk to you about what happened. You don't mind if we record this, right? I... You want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events. Everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Why? You're being really aggressive. Come in. It might be good to speak to someone. Hey, aren't you coming on a little too strong? No, we need to investigate this. She's got her whole life to mourn. Come on, get in. I don't like this version of you. I mean, the other one was hard hitting, I suppose, but you were at least willing to... We're about to begin. Will you have anything? Tea, coffee? No thanks. Well, I'll go make something anyway. I thought you never turned down a coffee. No. Let's just... <sighs> I'll have to wait for her. Gunpowder, you're not, uh... You're not sleeping anymore. In fact, you seem somewhat suspicious of us. I'll... I'll have a look around here. Yeah, whatever. This time, let's have a look at that coat. I'm pretty sure there was a pair of boots here when we came in. A pair of boots? And it's not there anymore? Now that's a blurry photo. Looking at it gives me vertigo. We're definitely going to ask about that this time. Uh, we already saw that newspaper. The image on the TV is different. Before it was... Before it was flowers, now it's a bird. Teleforum. That was... That was this guy's show, I guess. But I can't look away. Something about this TV set gives me the creeps. I'm getting achievements left and right, and they're all equally unnerving. That one right there said, there's something there, right? And when we entered the apartment, I got one that said just something's off. This game is 
deeply unnerving in a way that I don't know if I've experienced in a game before. This dog is not happy with us. Hey, Gunpowder. He seems a little nervous. Uneasy. Or is he afraid? Hey. There's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look. Go there and take it off. Look at all these certificates. Oh, no, I didn't mean to click on, click on that. Walter wasn't a complete moron. Unlike some people back at the studio. Right. But I don't recognize any of these institutions. That's weird. A horseshoe? I isn't that done as a symbol of good luck, hanging a horseshoe above the doorway? What? You heard me. You can reach up there if you jump, right? We're really overstepping. So take it down. It's getting on my nerves. You don't like this, and I noticed a thing before saying you look different. Is her hair like a little bit more frazzled? What the heck? My mom had one just like it at home. Looking at this thing reminds me of her. And I don't want to remember her. So can you take that down? No. Do you always talk back like that? It's just a little favor, come on. We'll put it back up later. I'm not messing up the poor woman's home. Fine. There. Now we come back with our coffee. Let's get to the point. God. See, I really get the feeling that maybe you're the bad luck that this thing is meant to ward off. Walter took a tape to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? So you're also aware that we've had this conversation before, aren't you? The original is here, with you. How do you know that? We examined the one he had with him. I want to see the original. Well, yes, I do have it here. Do you know where he found this tape? Is this why you came here? Had I known, I wouldn't have opened the door. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'll go have a smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. I get the achievement, let her be. But you won't, will you? So we have the options. Do you want to shoot a video of the tape? Or, hey, she's a widow. What's gotten into you? Actually, wait, I'm now thinking. She said that Walter had watched this tape many times. What if his, like, mental state deteriorated each time? And maybe we were spared the worst of it because we didn't have a full view of the screen. Uh, but she got a face full. I'm gonna say, hey, she's a widow. What's gotten into you? I don't have time for this, but fine, you're right. This whole thing is making me antsy. You know what, why don't you go check up on her? Even better, interview her. You always wanted to do that, right? Here's your chance. See if she's up to answering some questions about the origin of this tape. Oh, so it is actually daylight out. Oh, you could have fooled me. She's got the blinds all drawn. It's so dark in her apartment. Ah, uh, there she is. Deep breaths. What's this smell? It's not the cigarette. Oh, this is like a nightmare or something. We have to go talk to the creepy old lady. She's at the end of a well-lit hallway, yet she remains in shadow. And there's a building, awful smell. No, focus. If I do a good job... Oh, so you've got ambitions yourself, eh? Oh, we have to decide what our ambitions are. I can maybe help Mrs. Martins feel a little better. 
Although, I'll probably change nothing, but I still want to do it seems like a more honest answer. It's what I want to believe, at least. Mrs. Martins? What is it? Oh, we have to we have to talk to her. All right, that makes sense. Are you done? Not yet. Juliana's watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions. For your program? Shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? Actually, I'm worried about you, ma'am. I've seen many people like that girl in this line of work. Because of Walter. People who stop at nothing. Eh, fine. Let's do this interview of yours. You'd better think very carefully about these questions of yours. My head's about to burst. How are you doing? Terrible. I haven't slept since... You know. Maybe I should have seen it coming. The atmosphere at home changed ever since that tape showed up. He would watch it many times a day, locked up in the room. He'd say he'd almost get it, but he never showed me anything. He never showed it to me. That's what you... that's what you're hung up on. He... the idea that he never showed it to you, that's what you can't square, what you keep thinking about. Do you know where the tape came from? No. We need to investigate this. I think he got it at home, but I didn't see who delivered it. That's interesting. So it was potentially an anonymous drop-off? Or from maybe a source that he knew? Walter collected movies. Hard to find film, recordings. I thought it was just another one. Just thinking about that girl, alone in my living room, watching that thing. It makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in that tape? I want to say, to tell the truth, so am I. Uh, but my other options are, I wouldn't know, and because it's an important piece of this case... To say, to tell the truth, so am I, I feel like that aligns me more with Juliana and not with the Widow. So I would say... I wouldn't know. Because I want to say it's an important piece of this case, but to be honest, that doesn't seem... Like, it seems like there's more to it than that, than what she's letting on. No. Isn't that why you came here? I mean, isn't that what the story's about? I... Don't remember? Don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I... I could swear I've seen her before. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen her at the studio. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I haven't been working here for long. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. Me? Yes. Why are you in this, anyway? And I can say, can we conclude the interview first, or... Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick my tasks. I'll answer your question. I'll answer your question because I feel like evading is worse than trying to get on with the uh, comfort session. So... You choose to omit yourself. Right. No. I shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault. Not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder. The allure of a sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape. From this whole thing. It really didn't cause anything positive until now, or that's precisely why we need to investigate. 
I'm starting to see that the theme of this is that blind ambition is not necessarily a good thing. So I'm going to agree with her. It really didn't cause anything positive until now. I feel like that's the track that we're on, and that's what I'm going to commit to for this playthrough. I know that better than anyone. And if that's the case, wouldn't it be better to stop? Our job is to inform people so others don't need to pay the same high costs. I don't have the authority to cancel the story, or... Maybe... Maybe it would be better. I mean, look. I'm the kind of person who will get the shot no matter what. Like, I, I get it. But... We saw what happened to Walter, I guess. We saw what happened to Juliana. Maybe it would be better. Well, I don't want the story to be broadcast. I'm telling you quite plainly. Drop the camera. Are you serious? You can tell them the crazy old lady clawed at you. I don't care. Here. A little push out the window. Please, not literally. But I can't do that. I don't care if you can. Just drop it. Deny her influence. Okay. Real interesting, and look. It's got those same diamond symbols that we saw... Well, actually, that we saw when the figure appeared on the tape. Deny her influence. You won't do it, will you? That's fine. Look, I've got a splitting headache. Go check if she's done. Then leave, please. I want my living room back. Thank you for the interview, Mrs. Martins. And we get the achievement. The story must go on, right? Upheld your professionalism. She had me do a 180 in quite a hurry. But something's off about her, too, now. She seems to be speaking reason. That's the thing she's... What just happened? And what was that glow emanating... Emanating from the room? And it says, do you understand? Caught something at the end of Act 2. That looks like a person. That looks very much like a featureless head and shoulders. I need to reach the apartment. Am I... Am I coming here on my own? taking the stairs rather than the elevator. The apartment. Which apartment? Uh, it was 608. Yes. That was it. <laughs> and the achievement says the apartment's number stays in your mind. God, the achievements are actually part of the scariness. I need someone else with me. Oh, I had someone else with me. J... Ju... It was Juliana. Oh, but how was it spelled? I think it was 1A? I mean, I think it was 1N. How could I forget her? Uh, but I think we got it right. Your colleague's name stays in your mind. Each step makes it harder to remember. That tape... What I saw in it. Uh, I watched an unrecorded nightmare. Was seeing and forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past of a future that never happened. I have no idea what to choose. Wait, I'm a little confused by that middle one. Should that be a question mark? Was seeing and forgetting the name of what I saw? Should it be seeing and forgetting? Was that the name of what I saw? I'm going to choose that. That's kind of interesting to me now. 
how many things have I already forgotten? And how many fake memories have I recalled? The apartment. She stayed there. And we get the achievement. It's not the sixth floor anymore. Better to record everything. Everything can be used. I can look around, but the sound, do I really want to follow it? Yes, I need to go on. What is this door? Is this where she was? The door won't budge, but there's a grate. I want to see what's in there. Is that Juliana? That woman. I... Do I know her? Why am I tearing up like this? It's no use. There's nothing else I can do here. Weird smell here. Like the one... Like the one you smelled as you approached, Adriana? Which I'm now noting those names are weirdly similar for a game with only three characters. I'm starting to wonder if maybe that's not deliberate. Where did I smell this before? Over on the, r on the left. Down the hallway towards the window. <gasps> Gunpowder? Let's keep going. Gunpowder? What happened here? Uh, we can look around at different things. Let's not... Let's not mess with the dog just yet. There's some kind of weird, like, stain behind him. What's this charred stain here? This looks like... It, it looks like... No. It can't be. Looks like what? There's... something off about the city outside. As if the buildings were too close. That's strange to say the least. Why is the dog here? Where's your owner, hmm? Hey, Gunpowder, where's your owner? Unless... That's right on the spot where she stood. It's almost like she just spontaneously combusted in place. Am I imagining things? Or is the dog avoiding the apartment? Oh no, not now. Come on. Uh, is the camera malfunctioning? Gunpowder! Come back! What's gotten into him? He just dashed down the hall. Huh? Looks like he was lying on top of some note. Should we go after the dog or inspect the... Mm, this is... this is difficult. So far, we've committed in this playthrough to not following ambition, but rather to the... rather to preserving the moral integrity. Let's go after the dog. I'm definitely probably going to do another playthrough. Gunpowder? Did he run into the apartment? I'm going inside. I need to. I'm not leaving now. Am I going inside? Really? Really? I will. <sighs> I just noticed it now. And it's awful. Say it out loud. The camera... The camera carries me. 
not the other way That is something to think about. Not the other way around. I can't even tell when this started. Perhaps a long time ago. Maybe when I submitted my application? Gunpowder? I'm going in. <laughs> now that could be... That could be uh, a metaphor for the separation between player and character. Hmm. There's a couple of different ways to interpret that, actually. TV is broken. Uh, can we look around with A and D? We still... And now there's a functioning TV off in the dark of... Now, it says it's not the apartment anymore, but... Uh, is it possible that it was always like that? There's... Something missing here. The chair is gone. And that newspaper. Let's go investigate. Is that the dog in front of the TV? That looks like the logo for Walter's show. We're not even stepping in the doorway. It looks like we're just zooming in. Afraid to cross the threshold, maybe? It's... this is it. This is the tape. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão... Today we'll have a special broadcast in our show. Possibly my last one. I have an announcement to all of you. During the last few weeks, I've made a discovery that has haunted me. Words are not enough to describe what I uncovered. So, I'll have to show it to you. And there's a chance this will come to haunt you, as it's haunted me. However, my profession, my work during all these years has been to reveal the truth. If we want to be free, I need you all to know what I'm about to show you. In order to do this, I ask all of you to correctly tune in your TV sets, don't cross your legs, but stay at ease with a straight spine, and watch carefully. But it won't give us the satisfaction of showing the, the rest. Oh, wow. So that was... Yep, that was but a few of the possible endings. So look, we've got interim A, interim B. These don't even make sense. They're, they're actually... They're actually labeled like uh, production codes or something. But there's still five more to unlock out of eight. Or, sorry, out of nine. I've got to know the truth. That took us about an hour to get through. But there are certainly different paths we could have taken. This is probably the best example I've ever seen of just gaslighting the player. Of having things change unannounced, sometimes drawing attention to it and sometimes not. Of making us feel like we're losing our mind by having us come in, and look, we expect creepiness from the old lady. But as things progress, we start to wonder who we should really trust. Our own partner, or this other person, or whether we can trust anyone at all. In the end, Gunpowder seems to be the most honest of the bunch. We have the closest perspective with our own character, the cameraman. But even he starts doubting things, and the crazy thing is... He'll question things that we didn't think to question. And we start to doubt ourselves as the player, just as the character is. It makes us think back, like, wait, what was it that way? And it's only because he's asking the question. It asks questions specifically to trip you up. To make you think back and really analyze what you've seen so far. 
and recognize the uncomfortably large gaps in your perception as a player. This time I'll say, did you get authorization for this? Authorization? What are you talking about? They never approve sensationalist stories like this. You need to hand them the complete material, get it? If it's already done, it's harder for them to refuse it. This time let's have a look at things we didn't before. I remember Walter bought this raincoat to cover a story. Some lake where it rains a lot or something. Right. The image got stuck in my head because he just vanished inside the thing. I remember he got sheeted out of some 500 cruzeros for an oversized coat. He looked ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the coat he just had to wear it. Poor guy. This plant is begging for water. I guess it's been neglected in the last few days, considering all that's happened. What was that? Huh, is even a rewind not safe? Huh, I... And I got the achievement, did you see something? Something's bleeding through. I'm gonna ask about this photo this time. That's gotta be important, right? Something funny about this TV. I think there was a lightning strike nearby the other day. I might have messed it up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter... You know, hmm. Alright, so first we'll ask about... Walter's raincoat. Many of Walter's things are still around here. Yes? I've been thinking about selling the apartment. Because of of everything. These things just make it all more difficult. I'm thinking of getting rid of everything. It's hell. Uh... What about the blurred photo on the shelf? You have a rather peculiar picture in your living room. Ah. Uh, that was the first picture I took with the two of us. I put the camera on a tripod and set it all up to take our picture. Then, well, this lapwing showed up out of nowhere. I think we were too close to its nest. The bird got furious and attacked the camera right when it took the picture. Then it attacked us. That was the result. A portrait neither of us appear in, from yours truly, the great photographer. He found it so funny we had it framed. I used to find it funny too. What I like about this game is that I feel like so many things have characters dying just as like a set piece or as a plot device. Here they're actually making it, they're making us feel the loss. And I think that's really important in making everything else that comes around it land. The television seems strange. Walter dedicated a good portion of his professional life to TV. I couldn't help but notice your television here. I... yes. We had a blackout that day. There was a horrible lightning strike nearby, right after the broadcast. Almost gave me a heart attack. The TV hasn't been working properly since then. I leave it on so the house feels less... empty. Look, I'm sorry. I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martins. I'm gonna say... Gives me deja vu. I mean, why not meta this thing, right? We're probably meant to. Really? Me too. But where would I have seen this before? Oh, it changed. Good. So he did go inside the building. Wait. I just, I accidentally clicked looks like a museum. 
and she said, look at this exhibition. Who would, like, authorize this? He's just walking by everything. So no matter what I say, you respond in the affirmative. It's almost like my decisions are actually leading what you see. We said that we heard something about Shard. That's what we said before. I'm going to I'm going to choose something different and see if we don't maybe get a different like maybe if we don't get different events later on as a result. I'm going to say ZKA we're assuming control ZKA. What if we say, that's it, I'm turning this thing off? It doesn't matter. Oh, and I just realized... I just realized when this ends, when this chapter ends, and when we entered the door earlier, when the glow was coming from it, it played the sound of a lightning strike. Just some deja vu. I think we already said that. Let's try You Look Different today. Change my makeup. No, that's not all. Let's try heading towards the window first. What are you doing? How about you stop wasting our time? Can you do that, hmm? What's wrong with you? What? Uh. I... And I think Walter's death got to me. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're all shocked. Yeah. Let's head to 608 then. When you say I don't recognize any of these institutions, things are starting to change. Even as... Even... As we're here on this first, I guess, loop around. Yeah, no. Something weird is definitely happening. They might be expensive now, but I'm sure everyone will have one before long. Your dialogue on some of these things is different. I bet on that. I guess I'll take it down? There you go. You didn't lose any fingers, did you? Says you should keep that, it's not a horseshoe. What do I do with this now? I don't care, as long as it's away from me. Hmm. Maybe having it on us is important somehow? Do you want to shoot a video of the tape? No. We're not shooting anything. We don't have a lot of time, and I made her uncomfortable. Let me check the tape. Maybe there's something we can add to the video and editing. Meanwhile, go talk to her. Interview the widow. Uh, so we have to go talk to her either way. So if I ask, how was Walter on that day? Normal, just like any other day. He spent so much time watching that thing, but his behavior was the same. He was uneasy, but I never thought it would come down to this. I'm not sure you've seen it, but he left a note. I only noticed minutes after it had already happened. The only strange thing that day was that he made a copy of the tape. Uh, why did he make a copy? Why do we copy anything? To preserve, to share. That's what I think, at least. To share. Just thinking about that girl alone in my living room watching that thing... ...makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in this tape? Because it's an important piece of this case, or to tell the truth, so am I. Let's be honest and direct. To tell the truth, so am I. Of course. The copy ended up being a blank, right? Or it got burned? I'm not sure. I can see how this would entice you. It is a mystery, after all. But... Don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? 
What happens if I just say, can we conclude the interview first? No. No, we can't. You came here. I didn't call anybody. I have the right to ask my questions. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder. The allure of a sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? That's precisely why we need to investigate. Do we really need to? Is it really the search for truth that's motivating the story you're working on? Or is it something else? And if it is something else, then it wouldn't be right. I'm not sure right is the concept we're looking for. What I do know is that you two being here is making me apprehensive. I don't want to ignore this feeling. To be honest, I've been questioning how things have been progressing. Oh yeah? But you said you're interested in the tape. I don't deny it. But we all know what curiosity did to the cat. We do. I don't want this story to be broadcast. I'm telling you quite plainly. Drop the camera. Well, I'm not going to do that this time. We'll come back and do it later, but right now... Right now, I want to see what happens if I progress as before and either pick up the note or go into the apartment carrying that charm. Oh, now I can more clearly see that it is Walter. I don't know if it's different from before or if I just didn't notice before. The past of a future that never happened. In which future do I exist now? From which past did I come? The apartment- oh, that's... So it's almost like you're quite- you're aware of the different paths through this game. And you just have no idea which path you're on currently inspect it. It's a note. I've had it, and did what I shouldn't. I now live the past of a future that never happened. Did we guess right, or is this, uh, is this because we answered that way? I move through strange events, ephemeral facts, truth and lies no more than an idiot's dream. If anyone reads this, don't leave Gunpowder alone. She... she also... Uh, these letters are giving me vertigo. Wait, the dog? Where did he go to? Gunpowder? I'm... I'm going inside. I need to. Yeah, we're doing it. We have the charm now. Does that... Does that make a difference? Maybe we keep it to ourselves, though. I'm only doing this to gather as much footage as possible. I was told that was important once. <sighs> Seems like such a distant memory, doesn't it? That ride up the elevator the first time? I've been recording for an hour and a half. Feels like a lifetime ago. Which shows that this game is doing its job. I've got a message for you. Turn it off. Esteem viewers, good night. Today we'll have a special broadcast in our show. If you're seeing this, I believe it's already too late. Their lenses have become our eyes. All we see. I understand the enthusiasm to search for more, to learn more. But you know what happened to me when I did the same. Why did you go down this path? Well, it doesn't matter. You've reached the truth, viewer, and it has a price. We don't need to fully pay it, though. We don't need to subject ourselves to this. Listen. They have no control over this. Not yet. 
turn the video off, go away and don't come back. You'll slip through their fingers, the greatest of rebellions. Go away. Do not come back. Uh, who's they? I, it says we found the truth, and yet I feel like I know less than ever. Well, not really. We learned that there's a, we learned that there's a they involved, that all this is part of something larger. Uh, but that's the theme that sometimes, well, <laughs> as, as was explicitly stated at one point, curiosity killed the cat. That sometimes it's just not worth it. has not been seen since fourth we had a chance to speak with the mother do you personally believe that there's some sinister hiding in there no of course not people love ghost stories but in the end they're just stories just stories just stories just what is stories. drowned like oh it's an ad for another game i thought we were i thought we were discovering some deep lore probably another game by the same developer But yeah, so these are our endings. Let's have a look at some of these. And try and- this looks like an image of a stairwell. This looks maybe like a hallway. This is the- this is the elevator door. And this is something else. Okay, I have a couple more ideas to try. What happens if we go towards the light in the beginning? I don't think this is the way. I think we can get a nice take by the window. Hmm, you're right. You have a good eye. But there, we're seeing another of those visions. Someone's been coming here for a smoke. See the ashtray? Don't show me that. I haven't touched nicotine in three years. Come on, let's head down the corridor. I just said, I hope the camera doesn't mess up during the interview, and he says, uh, it malfunctions. Sometimes it blacks out for no reason. I think they gave me this one because I'm new. Let's do this story, then Ferrera won't be able to deny you some new equipment. Hmm. There's a book that doesn't quite fit here. Let me see. It's an electronics manual. And it's bookmarked on a page about the cathode ray tube, the CRT. The pages are loose. Huh. Alright, so maybe that's something we could ask about? I'm gonna try to ask about, like, different things. I don't think we ever asked about the rain rooster. We never did look at this other thing. There's a painting here. And I think Mrs. Martin's painted this. Is that thing... Oh, it is above the door. Is that a horseshoe? Seems so. Like, for good luck? I didn't know Walter was superstitious. Uh, hmm. We'll have to ask about that because... Actually, Juliana... It is two ends. It is two ends. Oh. We'll have to, uh... Alright, I'm going to have to run through this like a few more times probably, but uh, we've got a lot to think about. But she doesn't have a problem with that horseshoe now. Will you have one? I'm going to say no, I'm fine. Feel free to have one if you change your mind. And we get an achievement for that. What's the deal with the weather rooster on top of the TV? There was a storm then, right? Yes. I mean, I remember lightning struck nearby here, right when... when... What's with the amulet above the door? Did Walter have any superstitions? He didn't seem to have one, but I was just a co-worker. We never get to completely know someone, right? No, never. He wasn't religious either. So that amulet above the front door is yours? No. 
Care to elaborate? No. Uh, we're talking to David Lynch, are we? Um, we saw an electronics manual. Walter was an avid reader. What had he been? What had he been reading these last few days? He'd walk all around the house with some manual or something in his hands. An electronics manual, I think. He kept messing around with the VCR. I noticed because he even stopped reading the papers. Hmm. What's with the sickly plant? What about the last 24 hours? Just look around the house. I've been forgetting things. I would have forgotten to feed gunpowder if he didn't remind me so often. And... Yes? What a cruel question, girl. Let's, uh, go on, yes? Look, I'm sorry, I don't think I can keep going. I feel like I can almost understand them. But at the same time, I can't. It feels like they get entangled inside your brain. A prison. Inside the cells. Are those people? I had it. I'm out of here. It makes no difference in the end. Walter Martin's tragic death made use of a rope. Yeah, it's very important to examine things the second time around. I... Is it because I answered that way earlier, or is it because that's... He hanged himself? How did he even have time to pull that off? Huh. There's a book missing now. What's on the tape? I don't know. I never watched it. Walter made me promise I'd never watch it. I was kind of curious before. Not anymore. Why did you keep the tape? I have no idea why I kept the thing. I should have burned it, crushed it with a hammer. But I couldn't. I couldn't. I think I see him when I look at the tape, you know? Yeah, I could see the greed on your colleague's eyes when she asked for the tape. To be honest, I thought you'd ask questions about Walter. He was your coworker, no? And that was the plan. Was it? Really? Our job is to inform people so others don't need to pay the same high costs. I'd like to believe that. I feel like not even you believe that. Well, I wanted to believe it too. Juliana. That's right. <laughs> wow. That tape, what I saw in it, seems right, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to say I watched an unrecorded nightmare, and if it was not recorded, can I ever awake from it? Now I have an unending nightmare in my brain, an endless loop with no chance of escape. And what scares me the most? It's not much worse than the life I left behind. Okay, I'm gonna splice in some audio over that because I was clicking through it thinking it would be the same, but it's different based on our answer. I understand the enthusiasm. It's giving us the same dialogue. But we got an achievement. The achievement just says, feature film, the store won't take damaged goods back. All I can think to do now is to try leaving at the various opportunities. We unlocked nothing new in the gallery. The paintings in the living room. They're yours, yes? Yes, I've been practicing for years. I was preparing Walter's portrait. Can't even look at it now. Uh, the expensive VCR. I noticed you have a brand new VCR. I'm just curious. I know Walter was quite the cinephile. What did he enjoy the most? Ma'am? Can you ask about something else? Hmm? Uh, sure, you're the boss.
the event has been garnering some media attention. Did this have an impact on you? I haven't slept in a while. In the morning, when I got that newspaper, there it was. The headline, staring at me, chasing me. When I locked myself in here, you two arrived. So, yes, I'd say it's having quite the impact on me. Whoa, whoa, stop right there. I'm not letting you throw this opportunity away. Look, you don't have to watch it, just film me as I'm watching it. We'll have more takes that way. Okay, I'm trying to see where I can and can't leave. Uh, but I get the, uh, I get the achievement. That's it. A commendable effort. Looks like a shopping mall. Mall? The shop windows. No mall would sell. He's just walking by everything. Uh, th that's the weird thing about these, is we don't get to see exactly what she sees, but she seems surprised by it. Yeah, so it does change depending on what we answered earlier. I'm now realizing there's kind of a theme here. The chard, the cigarette smoking, the name gunpowder. And all three of those elements kind of coalesce in this hallway here. I feel like there's connections between certain elements that I haven't been seeing. And understanding those connections are... that's what we have to do. No, I want to leave this place. Enough. The story, it was all wrong since the start. Uh, stairs seem safer. The stairs. I found the stairs. And we get Rewind 3 achievement and uh, the image of Walter at his desk. Gunpowder? Um, we end up right back here. No, I want to leave this place. Enough. The story it was all wrong since the start. Elevator would be faster. No choice. Uh, the elevator where Juliana is. Rewind 4. Ultimately, we have no choice. But that's an image of someone walking through the woods with a flashlight. And then through those corridors. Is that the path Walter took? Then again, it was a drop-off. It was a drop-off. He didn't shoot it himself. I'm going. I need to. But I don't think we'll learn anything new this way. Hmm. The second time around, it says the plant is well taken care of. I think Mrs. Martins didn't let the tragedy affect her routine. Maybe it's what's keeping her functional right now. I don't want this story to be broadcast. I'm telling you quite plainly, drop the camera. You serious? You can tell them the crazy old lady clawed at you, I don't care. Here, a little push out the window. Okay, we're done. And we get the achievement. Rewind one. Oh, that's not a hallway. That's falling. But either way, we're moving on to the next. What if we head straight for the apartment? Follow the smell. Uh, the tape is like whirring in the in the camera. The smell is coming from inside the apartment. I know what it is. The smell. It's ozone. Oh no, Adriana was a goat man. Look into the smell's origin. Rewind two. And I do think that that'll be the gallery completed. Better to record everything. Everything can be used. So that's it. We've 
we figured it out, but I, I still feel like I don't understand. So that was Teleforum, and I am absolutely fascinated by it. I, I still don't understand what exactly was going on here, but it it's weird. It's almost like, I, I don't want to say Lynchian, but that's what it's reminding me of in a way. Things start off like uncomfortable, like normal, grounded, but so uncomfortable. And from there, I feel like as it descends, it explores themes of of ambition, of I suppose I suppose media influence and how the quest for truth doesn't always result in a better outcome. How sometimes it is better to just leave well enough alone. And then there's also the uh, more personal themes, the idea that uh, if we're gonna be a vulture, we better at least be an honest vulture. Yeah, according to this, we have completely filled out the gallery. And yeah, it, it just, it, it actually reminds me a lot of uh, the movie Videodrome. The idea that we, we sort of detach ourselves from what's presented in media, even though it has very real consequences. Both in the sense that the things we're seeing are real, and that the act of recording and broadcasting it has an effect on people even continuing after tragedy. There is also the theme of obsession, I guess. Which, in a meta sense, is something that not only does our character struggle with, struggling with his real motivations and having to go back and learn what this story is, but also we as the player, I mean, look, I just finished my fifth playthrough. We're, in, we're two hours and 40 minutes into a one hour game if you actually read all the dialogues. So I've been rewinding this tape, going back and forth, trying to see what detail it was that I missed. Oh, that is brilliant. Just like when we were sat in front of that TV in the beginning, trying to listen more closely, turning up the volume to hear what that voice is saying. But it's not really finished though, is it? I'm seeing there are still six more achievements. Six out of 35. Hang on, let's uh, have a look at those. There's just such a sense though of you getting lost in this experience. Like, it becomes almost like a recurring nightmare as you try and piece it together. You become familiar with all the beats, all the places you could potentially diverge, and it just feels like you're... You always feel like you're doing something wrong and that you need to find just that exact specific combination to learn the truth. But it's a truth that constantly evades you. Eventually you... I mean, that's the thing. I feel like in the beginning I tried to be somewhat, like, comforting to Adriana and do things the right way and still prod for some answers. But as time went on and I just wanted to get the story, I was just clicking through and doing whatever I thought would get me what I wanted. And maybe that's the point. Okay, wait. Uh, these guys are actually giving me some ideas for things we can try. Alright, no, no, no. We're doing this in this video. I am so excited really putting my skills to the test of learning what I need to do but not what's happening. Uh, being able to being able to read spoilers effectively is becoming a huge part of this job. Uh, now remember, we saw on the screen at one point, I can't remember where, but I do remember now that they mentioned it, something Flash saying like T124. So let's try it. I knew, I knew they had to be showing us this for a reason. T124. What's happening? I have no control. Oh my god. It, it, yes? 
Operator? Operator? Mr. Walter Martins? You are in possession of a VCR, correct? Yes. What do you want? I have a very special delivery for you, sir. This is the moment he received the tape. All recorded as well. This tape. I remember that day. You paid attention to the signs. Oh, uh, that was haunting. So the face... The face that she saw the, that spoke those words at the end was the one who actually dropped off the tape itself. This thing that just came into their lives. And presumably as a result of him meddling in something, he was probably, from his dialogue in that last ending, he was probably in pursuit of whatever this is. Uh, right here. Oh. Now you did see them. It's all one and the same now. And th there's something there, all right, you peeping Tom. So that's two more achievements. Only a few more to go. Uh, so we get to uh, take a good long look for uh, resisting her more on the uh, window. I I'm, could swear that I've done this before. Maybe it's because I looked both times. Now here's something else interesting that I read that is somewhat haunting. And given what we saw in the T124 tape, may actually have something to do with the nature of what's going on here. So, I was confused earlier when we when we took down this charm and we got the achievement, it's not a horseshoe. I went on the Steam forums and somebody was asking, like, well, if it's not a horseshoe, then what is it? Now, somebody responded, what else is shaped like a horseshoe? And the answer came, a magnet. A magnet facing downwards. And, I mean, you saw the look of the, of the guy on the TV who came to the door. So maybe there is something greater going on here. That is really creepy to think about, especially since this Bizarro World version of Juliana seems to have a problem with it. Oh, I see. The T124. That was next to... That was next to his show. That was next to Teleforum. Alright, that makes sense. I knew I had seen it somewhere. I suppose that closing dialogue does sort of help to imply that uh, turning the thing off is the right thing to do. So let's do it. Let's see if that advice given on the Steam forums is right. Let's leave the game and come back later. Oh, there we go. Uh, it took me two tries, but uh, I did get it to unlock. And that is all achievements. And I suppose they won, meaning that uh, we had our freedom, we had the chance to leave. And by coming back, we've thrown it all away. Well, I've already given my closing thoughts, but there is one more thing that I wanted to talk about. Before entering the apartment in the final act, our cameraman said, I don't carry the camera, the camera carries me. And that really hit me hard because I thought back uh, throughout all of this to the times I've spent, you know, exploring and recording Urbex videos and such. And I've always seen it as not just about making entertaining videos, but about documenting and seeing the state of a place and what might be there. And when he said that, I realized that most of my memories of that aren't of being there, they're of looking at an LCD. Of making sure the focus peaking was right, of making sure the composition and the lighting was good, but I don't even remember actually being there a lot of the time. Which is really interesting when it comes to this game's themes, because it just makes me think of that degree of separation that I talked about before. How we don't see the humanity of it because we're looking through this screen. This is a game that I think is going to 
really stick with me for a while because I found it very thought-provoking and unbelievably creepy in its presentation. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. It is completely free, can you believe it? And as always, I will see you in the next one.